Hey, what's going on guys? Yesterday I got an email from one of my subscribers named Maze Gumir. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. And he, he's asking me to have a look at this banggo.com site and the particular issue he encounters, uh, he can't really reverse engineer the ejex calls because he can't find one. And he's asking me to make a video on how exactly one can actually find those particular ejex requests that serve the data feed for the infinite scroll page. So let's go to the target site and uh, here we get an in, we get an in, in, we, we get an infinite scroll page but this is the very initial kind of base URL and uh, before proceeding and actually asking the particular question was asked uh, I would like to show you guys that if you actually go to some sort of a particular category in this time in this case I'm talking about like home audio and video in this case we have uh, the casual trivial pagination here so it's not really that big deal to scrape it actually so just 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 to bear in mind we get just the regular pages like uh, in whatever pagination uh, driven sites basically so j just to bear that in mind okay so uh, let's invoke our developer tools and switch to the network tab and let's try to scroll down a bit so yeah you know like uh, when it comes kind of so so many data here it's really not that clear to figure that out of where exactly the particular Ajax call uh, is about to occur so we can filter them by type basically and the type of requests we're looking for are called XHR requests so as far as uh, doesn't seem like we have some XHR requests yet so let's try to okay so now it's okay this 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 one XHR okay okay already page number three so let's have a look yeah, it seems like this is it basically. So we got the products, uh, the, the the detailed URL, product name, image URL, final price, product price. So all all this data is exactly what we need. So as far as we did find this Ajax call, uh, we can filter filter this list even more by saying load recommended here, just to filter. So load recommended this like okay. So now I would like to, to scroll down even more so just to make sure that uh, I'm just wondering why the only one uh, is about to appear here just just the only one basically okay let's have a look at the header so it's already a page number three uh, I'm not sure why uh, it didn't actually consider the page number two here so just try to copy this and paste in the browser starting from the page one Okay, so we got the regular JSON response, which is fantastic. Page zero, do we have something there? Okay, so even page zero is available. So let's actually write a simple line of Python code using scrape a shell in order to crawl through this uh, several pages and just uh, fetch uh, the JSON data directly without parsing anything and just to store that to some sort of a file. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, what would it be the particular what would it be the appropriate format well, json or json line so uh, in any case let's try to invoke our scrape shell here okay and this is our url so just want to copy this and i want uh, to fetch data and work with the response at the same time also i want to import json to be able to parse the response so here uh i can say fetch and paste the url and here response.txt so just want to print the textual uh response to the screen but it's not really the, the text well it, it's textual format but this is the json data so just to bear in mind and yeah i think uh i think this should work actually okay non attribute doesn't have attribute of a text mm. this is a bit strange so do you does it does it really mean that it can actually fetch mm. well okay let's try to fetch this from from the very beginning one more time so if I just simply kind of try to fetch this okay 
Okay, perfect. And now I just want to work with the response object at the same time. So can I do this? Oh, okay, so probably there was some sort of a typo. Now I want to print only the data regarding the response object. Perfect. And now I want to import JSON to be able to use the JSON loads here to parse our response. So JSON dot loads. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll need this just to pretty print the response and to write this to the file in, in a print, print way basically. So, okay, and now we can also say let's print and JSON dot dumps JSON loads. Okay indentation equals to two spaces okay okay so now this is way better so we prob probably we don't really need all the data but instead we need to write just just this products information I guess so data and list so let's try this instead so here I just reference the data and list okay now we got this bare list okay so from now on we can actually so we can either write this uh, sorry guys so uh, we can either write this entire list to the, to the source file or uh, Alternatively, we could have actually tried to um, loop over the elements, and probably this would have been the more appropriate way of doing things. So, um, I can actually try to loop over this elements here. So, item. For item in this list, so I don't, I don't want to print anymore. So just don't forget to get rid of two parentheses, and this indentation is not needed anymore. And well, let's just try to run this. Okay, and now let's try to pretty print our item. So. Okay. Okay, this is now much better. So yeah, uh, probably uh, I would make use of the JSON line format because uh, in this case we would be able to crawl through the range of pages and store all the data in the one level basically. So mm, let's try to do this uh, actually. So I'm just wondering. So if I can say for page in mm, range say from zero to uh, I guess there there were three pages so to the say to four, All right? So this should have crawled four times. Okay, I just forgot. Sorry, I just forgot to close the list comprehension. So now we should have crawled through. Uh, we should have uh, we've done this four times, but obviously just to update the data here uh, where the page occurs uh, We can simply say plus stringify and the page and From now on I, sh I think we should have be getting a different data Every time so it's pretty, pretty a lot of here pretty a lot of things here so uh, just just to make it clear how it looks like at the very end Let's just replace this print st statement with open dot write, and I want to open file. Let's call this just uh, I don't know how call this bank good right bank good dot com, and we want to be abandoned to the file stream, and also right over in here. So we're we using this. JSON dumps. Okay. 
So here I would also like to append a new line to fit the JSON line format actually. And now before anything else, uh, let me just quickly check. Uh, so so just, just to make sure that I don't have this bang, uh, banggood.json line file on my desktop. And as far as I hit enter here, it should have appeared somewhere along the way. Uh, am I actually... Uh, oh my god, where, where, what's the current working directory? Oh, probably I did open this uh, in my home directory instead. I'm sorry guys, so let me just quickly try to check that out. Mm, Bam, good. Okay. Okay, yeah, here, here it is. Yeah, here it is basically. Why, uh... Why I call this banggood.com? Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> I should have called this JSON line, obviously. Yeah, so the file seems to be right. So, yeah, let me just get rid of this one. Okay. And I just grabbed this entire line here. Okay. And copy. And uh, now we try to open the terminal. Uh, in, on the desktop actually sorry I should have uh, started with this basically and if I now paste this in okay so here is our banggood.com <laughs> not banggood.com actually but instead uh, let's call this okay let's call this banggood json l because that's the format actually okay and we don't really need this one okay so let's have a look okay product ID URL product name and all the available data has been scraped here from up to four pages basically so this is it kind of well okay guys so I think this is it for this tutorial and I hope you've learned something useful out of watching this so thanks for watching basically and I hope now it's a little bit more clear on how exactly we can find those AJAX calls within the developer tool so just filter the request uh, to uh, to fit the XHR requests and among those requests it's just kind of intuitively clear uh, that what particular request are we supposed to, uh, are supposed to be responsible for for the data feed so in, in our case uh, this 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 was the request like loud recommended product dot html and it did return this json data uh it did return this json data uh from the response object so this is it for this video thanks for watching until the next time and take care